Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel, or if you are new, hello, welcome to my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna be doing a full face featuring nothing over $10. So I love drugstore makeup, obviously that's a given, but I especially love these kinds of videos the most because it's fun to be able to really see how much different drugstore makeup costs and just different brands, different products. And I feel like $10 is like a magic kind of lucky number in the beauty world because it's a good number and you can find a lot of stuff within that price range that's not only really good quality, but a lot of the time is better than high end. So yeah, we're gonna do some soft glam today, just super simple makeup. I also wanna give a huge thank you to Essence Makeup for sponsoring a portion of today's video. I'm gonna be using some of their products as well today that I love, and I'm so grateful to be working with them today because I have been using Essence for years. They're definitely one of my favorite drugstore brands. They're cruelty-free, and they make a lot of really great dupes for popular high-end makeup. And most of their products are honestly like $15 or under, and 15 is kinda like higher price point, but most of their stuff is $10 and under, or even $5 and under. Like some of my holy girl products are actually like three, four bucks, really great quality. So I am so excited and grateful to be working with them today. So yeah, we're going to be using some other products throughout the video in just a little bit, but we also have some other favorites as well. So I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you grab a snack and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And let's get into a full face featuring nothing over $10. Okay. Of course we're going to do brows first. I wanted to really make this a full face. I know you guys have seen me doing my brows like a million times, but we're going to do them again today. And I'm going to kind of speed through it because you guys have seen it so much. My absolute favorite brow pencil is from NYX. It's the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. The formula is great. They come in like eight different shades and it's such a good pencil. So this one I have in the shade black and I love it just for outlining my brows. Okay, and then for pomade, I actually have a fresh one. I've tried this before though. I love it. I just, the one that I have been using lately, it's $12. So I just got a new one, but this is the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. So this is a really good pomade. I feel like the drugstore has a lot of really great ones nowadays that are $10 and under, but I love this color. This one is just in the shade of black and oh, there's nothing more that I love than a fresh pomade. For me, this doesn't dry out really quick. And if any of my pomades ever do get dried out, what I like to do is just put a little bit of like a facial oil in there. Like you could use like a primer oil or something. Then take like a little Q-tip or a brush, mix it around, and then you have like a fresh pomade again. So I normally do that after a couple months of having my pomades, but this one is great. I've never had any issues. Okay, we have another NYX product, and I just realized, yes, all the brow products that I'm gonna be using today are from NYX, but this is the full coverage concealer from them in the shade beige. I love this for cleaning up the brows. I pretty much use this every time I do my makeup. I love the formula of it, it's so good. If you can't find this, any stick foundation will work, or just any kind of like concealer really does work, to be honest, but this one's a little bit thicker, so it's perfect for just being really precise with your brows. All right, cool. Brows are all done. Chef's kiss, so good. Definitely check out NYX for brow products. Okay, next it is time for eyeshadow, but of course I'm gonna prime my lids first. This is one of my favorites. It's the CoverGirl Lid Lockup Primer. This is a really good Urban Decay Primer Potion dupe. For eyeshadow palette today, I have the LA Girl Keep It Playful Eye Palette. This looks so pretty. So I've only swatched these. I haven't actually played with these like on my eyes, but look at how beautiful these colors are. So I'm gonna start with this color right here and I'm gonna apply that as my neutral blending shade. I'm also gonna kind of just mix in a little bit of the color right next to it. It's a little bit darker. So far, so good with these mattes. They're blending in really nicely. I'm doing this really lightly and kind of building it up because it's always easier to blend out your shadows when you start off with a little bit of product at a time. This look is gonna be super, super simple, by the way. Not really gonna do anything too crazy. Um, Let's do, see this color right here looks really pretty. It's kind of like a foiled shade, but then this one looks really like nice also, kind of a little bit softer. So I think I'm gonna start with this color right here in the center and I'm just gonna apply that with a flat brush. I did not spray my brush and you can just see how pretty that is. Ooh, wow, that's beautiful, like no spray. That's impressive. Okay, I love that. So let's spray the brush and see if, it, like, if there's a difference. Definitely, I feel like makes it look a little bit kind of more wet, but both of them, like both sides look incredible, even like without the spray. I think now I kind of want to just take my finger and just add some of this foiled color right on top just for a little, little extra. Look at that. It's like a pretty like kind of foiled silver. 
Ooh, wow, that's beautiful. Look at that pigment. I feel like one foiled shadow alone could cost $10. So this is amazing. I love that they have this in here. Love it, so pretty. This is like exactly what I wanted. Soft glam, but still, you know glam nonetheless i'm gonna do a little bit of this brown right here just on the outer corners of my eyes this is gonna be a really simple makeup look i just did like a colorful kind of look so i'm like let's go back to the neutrals for today's look so i'm just gonna kind of fluff that color right on the outer portion a little bit i feel like it kind of makes the lid shade pop a little bit more if there's like a color kind of against it I really, really like this a lot, wow. And then I'm gonna go back into the soft brown color and I'm just gonna apply that right in my crease. So we're gonna jump straight into mascara. One of my all-time favorites, I have used this for so long, I don't even know for like how long, but years. The Essence Lash Princess Mascara. This is so good. It's separating, it's lengthening, and it's a great formula. It doesn't flake, it lasts all day, and Essence makes some of the best mascaras, and they're all like $5 and under. So I'm just gonna coat my lashes, and we're gonna do some falsies. Okay, for lashes, let's do these Salon Perfect 662 Extension Seeker Lashes. These look so pretty. I like I like how black and like full they look because I'm not gonna do any liners. So I feel like these are gonna be perfect with the eyeshadow. So while we wait for the lash glue to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and tight line with the Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil. This is another favorite. This is like three or four dollars and it's such a creamy eye pencil. This one I have in the shade Black Love. It's just a pencil liner, but it glides on the waterline. It lasts all day. And I also love the nude shade that they have. This one is in Silky Nude. This is beautiful for like everyday makeup. I think, I don't know today if I'm gonna use this maybe Maybe to open up the eyes I might actually and then I'll use this just to tight line up my upper waterline but yeah these are so good and so creamy Okay, now we're gonna move into the skin. I'm first gonna start with a little bit of primer water. I have been loving the Milani Make It Last Peach Scented Setting Spray, specifically because it reminds me of something from my childhood that I used to use. It was like this body spray that me and my mom used to use, and I love the scent of it. It feels really nice. This is just like their original Make It Last. It's just scented, but this is great because you can use it before your makeup, to refresh your makeup, or even to set your makeup, which is what I like to do. It smells so good. I'm actually running kind of low on this. I have a little bit left. I've been using it like nonstop. Ooh. And then to further prime the skin, I'm gonna use the Hard Candy Sheer and Be Hydrating Primer. This is still one of my all-time favorite primers, especially now that it's getting warmer out. This week, it's gonna be beautiful here in Pennsylvania. So we want products that are gonna like withstand the heat and actually last all day. And this really helps with making my products last all day. It's just a good primer. It feels good on the skin, makes your makeup last, especially if you are like outside or in the heat. I really, really enjoy this and it's a good milk makeup dupe. For foundation, I am so pumped about this, you guys. So I'm gonna go in with the Essence Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. I have mine in the shade 090 Neutral Suede. It matches me perfectly. This is such a pretty foundation. It lasts all day. So this has hyaluronic acid and aloe vera in it, and it also comes in 31 different shades, which is huge for Essence. It's like their largest shade range that they've had, which is amazing for the brand. You can get it directly on Essence's website, or you can also get it, of course, at Ulta. It's vegan, paraben-free, oil-free, alcohol-free, and also, gluten-free, which I didn't know that they put gluten in makeup products, but yes, this is gluten-free and I just love everything about the foundation. It's been my go-to. It's perfect if you're doing glam or if you're also doing like really natural everyday makeup because the coverage is there, but it still feels like nothing on the skin. I also love the finish of this because it is so natural and still really fresh. It's not too dewy, it's not matte, it's just literally a pretty natural foundation. For my under eyes, I'm gonna go in with the Milani Supercharged Brightening Under Eye Tint. I have this one in the shade 120 Peach. I love this, especially whenever I'm using a concealer that doesn't have a ton of full coverage. This is a great product because it kind of just enhances your under eyes a little bit and it preps the area for concealer. The concealer that I'm gonna be using today actually has good coverage, but sometimes I still like to use this just to get a little extra bright under there especially on those days where I didn't get enough sleep the night before this is perfect and I'm just gonna use my sponge just to blend this out you can just see it melts into the skin 
And for concealer, I'm gonna switch it up today. I'm gonna to go in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect Long Wear Concealer. It's been a little while since I've actually used this, but I remember really liking this. This one I have in the shade Light Vanilla. I wanted to use something different just because I feel like I always use the same concealers. And this one is actually really, really nice and super creamy, but it has really great coverage too. So I do about that much, which is a lot, but I'm gonna just take the extra product and I'm gonna put it on my T-zone just to also brighten because it is a lighter shade as you can see, but it's really nice and also just blends in really nicely. When I first tested out this product, I think it was maybe like two, three years ago, I didn't love the concealer. I felt like it creased excessively under my eyes, but then I ended up using it last year and I fell in love with the concealer again. I feel like it actually is really nice and I like the formula of it. And if you guys are familiar with the Kylie Cosmetics concealer, this one I feel like is a really great dupe. So lots of dupes in today's video, but I live for dupes. I am gonna do some cream blush today. I'm gonna use the Believe Beauty Color Me Cream Blush in Doll Face. This is one of my favorite cream blush formulas. You can get this at Dollar General. It's like five dollars so good this one might actually be four dollars but this is like one of the best cream blush formulas like ever and don't be fooled even though these look like really like blah in the pan they're actually very pigmented very bright so less is more so i normally like to apply the product on the back of my hand first just so i don't use too much because that's how pigmented it is and i just do this really gradually and start building it up but it gives you the prettiest wash of color and again the more that you use the brighter kind of look you're going to get on the cheeks Look at that and this is like normally more pink than what i used to like but now i love like all colors like when it comes to blush i'm like give me the pink give me the peach give me everything now for powder i again wanted to use something that i haven't used in a little bit this is the milani translucent light to medium powder so i'm gonna take this with my sponge and i'm gonna concentrate that product under the eyes and on my t-zone Okay, now I'm gonna set the rest of my makeup. So sometimes I will just use translucent powder for the rest of my products. But whenever it starts to get warmer out, I really like to take the extra step to set my makeup with a pressed powder. And this is one of my favorites. It's the Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder. It's just a transparent waterproof powder. This actually does like smooth everything out and makes, especially your cheek products, I feel like look smoother, last better, especially if you're gonna be out in the heat. Whatever the case may be, I really like this pressed powder because I feel like it just sets everything really nicely. It's not drying on the skin, even though it says matte. And it's also a great powder for touch-ups as well. And it's colorless, so it's not gonna add any, any color, alter anything. So if you have any cream products, you can set your makeup with this. I'm also gonna set my brows really quick. I always like to do this step after powder because they tend to look really powdery. So I'm using my NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in the shade Black. This product is Fabulous, so good. So for bronzer today, I'm gonna use the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder Palette. This is still one of my favorites. I talked about this, I think like last year in like a bronzer favorites video. I love this palette so much and I always go back to it because the shades are really pigmented and soft on the skin, but I love the variety in here. So I normally use these two shades right here because these are a little bit too dark for me, but I feel like these would make for great eyeshadows or if you are tanner, these could definitely work, but I'm just gonna use these two right up here. This is great for traveling too because it has a mirror and you have all of your shades. It's just like really practical, but like amazing quality. Like four really good sized bronzers for $10. Like you can't beat that. So I love this palette. And then for powder blush, I'm gonna use the Flower Beauty Flower Pots Powder Blush. This one is in Spiced Petal. So pretty, I feel like it goes really well with the cream blush, because it's kind of like that rosy baby doll pink, but it's still very natural. For highlighter, I'm gonna use my all-time favorite natural highlighter. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I wore this on my wedding day. If you guys have been watching my videos, I always reference that because like the commitment is real to this product. It is so beautiful. It gives you that inner glow from within and I feel like that kind of look is super trendy and in right now. So this is a beautiful highlighter for that. I feel like it doesn't really emphasize texture. It is so smooth and pretty. So I'm gonna use this today because I feel like it's so appropriate with today's look and just really with any look. I mean, look at that highlighter. I love it. I always go back to this. I always use it. It's just a beautiful 
everyday super natural highlighter that anybody could use really it comes in a couple other colors as well but this one in I didn't even tell you the shade number 10 be my highlight this is a classic favorite for me and it's five dollars you guys like that's the best part about essence like everything is so affordable but like amazing quality so I guess we'll do lips and then we'll finish up the rest of the eyes so for lips I'm gonna start off with a lip liner I'm gonna use the essence lip pencil this one is in nude truffle this is such a good nude shade Then I'm gonna top that off with the CoverGirl Ultimate Last Liquid Lipstick in Love You Mocha. This is beautiful. It's a really lightweight formula, but it's really long wearing and it feels good on the lips. And you just need one layer and you're good to go. And this on its own, like I said, is super long wearing, but I have been loving these new glosses from NYX. The This Is Milky glosses, these are so nice and lightweight. They're so like milky and creamy, they're not sticky. And this color in Cookies and Milk is perfect, I think, with this look today. Okay, now for the eyes, going back into the same eyeshadow palette, I'm gonna just take these two colors right here. I'm just going to drag those right under the lash line. And then this is extra. You don't have to do this. You could totally just leave the eyes as is. But I've been loving this Milani Stellar Lights Highlighter Palette because this white shade right here is the perfect inner corner highlight. If you like a white shimmery highlighter look in there, so pretty. So I'm going to just take this and then I'm going to spray my brush. And I'm going to pop that right in the inner corners. It just really brightens up that area on the eyes. But I feel like it's still wearable. I mean, for me. <laughs> And let's do a nude waterline. So I'm gonna use the Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil in Silky Nude. Of course, we're gonna coat those lower lashes. And last but not least, I'm gonna set my makeup with the same Milani spray that I was using earlier just to really melt all the powders into the skin. So we are all done with this look and I love the way this turned out, you guys. This is like one of my favorite kind of glam looks to do because I feel like the colors are really soft and pretty, but it's very easy to achieve. And I love the fact that everything is affordable. You really just can't go wrong. And also, let me just say, this eyeshadow palette from LA Girl, wow, I am so impressed with this. I mean, this foiled shadow alone, I feel like makes the entire palette worthwhile because it is so beautiful and pigmented. It reminds me of something high-end, like it's insane. Love all the colors, they worked beautifully together. They were super rich and pigmented and very easy to work with so check these out they come in a bunch of other colors and if you have not already definitely check out the pretty natural foundation from essence you guys this has become a staple in my everyday makeup routine and it's going to continue to be a staple for the summertime because it is so lightweight and airy it's long wearing but it has great coverage and the fact that it's under ten dollars is like amazing to me so check it out if you have not already i will link everything and all the details down below and once again a big thank you to essence for working with me in today's video and thank you guys of course for your support i really appreciate you and i will see you very soon in my next video yeah. Bye.